Welcome to the final episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, everybody! Praise be to God on this amazing day! We have two slimes left to save, and they're both in the Flying Clotris. We're right at the end of it, but believe me, there's still a good amount of uh, video left. <laughs> I could have had like a two-hour video last time, or like an hour video, and then another hour video. I opted for two-hour videos, or hopefully a little less. And the nice thing is we've got the Ween that will take us straight to there. Ween teleporter go! Although I suppose I will destroy these guys just to see if they offer anything good. Chances are at least one of them is going to have a uh, drop a question mark bag. This is just too funny. Well, one of them did. Two of them did. Get over here. <laughs> Man, this much this one avoided the bulk of the elastoblasts. Alright, two bags. That's pretty good. Considering they have a like, roughly a 50% chance of being BS2 blue streaks, that's really good. And wow, they regrew pretty fast, but we're going up here first. You didn't think he was done yet. Finally made it, huh? I've been waiting for you. Wanna know who's behind this door? Don Clawleone, the, pl the plob father. And do you know who's got the key? That's right, me. Bring back any memories? We've been here before, right? But that doesn't mean it's gonna end the same way, Flute Warrior. This'll be our final battle. You'd better make sure you're ready for it. And Swivel's theme is really good. Holy cow. Hmm. <laughs> Think you're ready to take me on, huh, Flute Warrior? Just what is it that drives you? You're gonna say you're fighting for something you believe in, right? Okay then. Let's see how strong your belief really is. Give me everything you've got! But I gotta warn you, it's coming right back at ya. You're a tough slime, I'll give you that, but that just makes me want to fight you more. Okay, Flute Warrior, let's settle this once and for all. And it's once again the Schliemann tank versus the Schwarzman tank, the hero versus the anti-hero. Who will win? We will. Battle stations! Fire against Slivel! So, Flute Warrior, bring it on. So we got upper cannon, upper cannon, and then firing self of the enemy. So I'm just gonna throw all my stuff out of the lower cannon. And this is Kaboomite. When we pick it up, you'll see it's going 9, 8, 7, 6. As long as we throw it in the cannon before it detonates, though, we're good. Uh-oh. So he fired a Metal King Shield at us, so you're gonna see what happens when the Kaboomite blows up. You can see it's making a series of little blue explosions? Yep, anything that touches those blue explosions will be knocked out of the sky instantly. Sorry, Slivel, but I've actually got decent ammo this time. Granted, so does he. Okay, maybe the killing machine can only carry one thing at a time. He's still fast, though. Ooh, Buster Sword, lying out. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I'm not throwing those at the Metal King Shield. Doesn't seem worth it to me. 
He hasn't hit me yet, which seems strange. I'm sorry, Bulba! I'm sorry! I'm never gonna lose to you. Never. The Hero Sword will cut you down to size. Uh-oh. Hero Sword is the best piece of ammo in the game. It deals 120 damage, which is the highest amount. It also can knock up to free pieces of your ammo out of the sky. It's a massive sword. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, but get out of the way, please. Why did I bring him back into the tank again? Yeah, that giant sword, that's the hero sword! And it's coming right at us. <laughs> it literally shakes the screen when it uh, hits you. Oh, come on, Wordle, you can take more than one hit. Maybe he can't. Killing machine, come on. Anger circuits engaged. Oh, because I hit him, he's actually moving faster now. So that's kind of nice. Come on, Swivel. I thought you were tougher than this. Another hero sword. I hope it gets reflected. It did! We we used a mirror shield to reflect his hero sword back at him. That's amazing. Oh no, he knocked it out of the sky. That's a shame. That takes out more than <laughs> more than a seventh of his HP. It's gonna take more than that to beat me. Ooh, I like throwing the iron balls behind shields. Because then there's a decent chance the iron ball will actually hit. Right behind your wordle. My lightning staff. I'm just gonna throw that in some little tank. And that's a Kefrizzle, that red thing. Kefrizzles deal 90 damage and set your tank on fire if they hit you. Not fun. As you can see, that's the result of the Kefrizzle. Well played, Swivel. This isn't over. I forgot how fast Swivel can load its cannon, because even though it's just him in there, he's super fast, can carry free things on his head, and most of the, his ammo just comes right at him next to the cannons. Oh well. I'm Wintnally than his HP down. But if my Kaboomite hits him, then we're in business. We are in business! Yeah, look at the Kaboomite. It didn't even hit right at his main tank, it just hit near his tank and it dealt, dealt a hefty amount of damage. If it actually hits his tank though, holy cow. Insanely powerful. 
He took a ton of my HP down, though, so props to Swivel. Goodbye. Goodbye, Schwarzman tank. Victory! That is an Oracle slime. It's like Oracolcum, but better, because it's a slime. Count calories! Huh, huh, thank you, Rocket. It was a bit too tight in there for me. But I was sweating so much, I'm sure I lost a considerable amount of weight. Oracle slime, it's like slightly more powerful than Oracolcum. And it's a great synthesis material. Hmm. Guess that's it then. Here, take it. You received the Clotris key. One word of advice Don Clavion's a jerk, but don't think that means he's soft. Anyway, quit hanging around here and get out of my face. I know you'll be back, Flute Warrior. You use the Clostris key to open the door. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Count calories! Guess what, Rocket? When I was held captive by the Plob, I lost a whole point one slime ton, so every cloud has a silver lining. And we get a recipe for Metal King Shields. We need two Oracle Cums and five Toy Slimes for some reason. Yeah, it's kind of expensive with all the Oracle Cums it requires. But thankfully, we have a few. And we're entering the door to the boss of the Plob, the final room of the game. Get ready for one heck of a fight. I'm telling you, there ain't nothing left. Just settle down, lady. I simply don't believe you. There must be something to eat in here. Listen, lady. Quiet and down, or I'm gonna get, have to get nasty. Oh, I can't take any more. I'm completely ravenous. I'll find my own sustenance, then. You must be the slime ball has been giving me all this trouble. Do you know who I am? I'm Don Clavione, my friend, the Plob Father. I run this joint. Look at how many tails he has. No one messes with Don Clavione. You ain't bouncing out of here, slime. Not this time. You're gonna pay for what you've done. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. Make me mad, my friend, and I'll come down on you harder than a living statue. So this is the final boss. Don Clavione. He has moves, he can summon buzzsaws, which we can hover over. And honestly, we just need to keep a last of blasting into him. The only problem is that he has a lot of invincibility frames. Oh, and that's then he summons a bunch of plob guys who have machine guns. So that's fun. Just get out of the way of the crossfire, and you'll be alright. Nice job, control stick. <laughs> and then <laughs> here he summons a bunch of little platy punks to beat us up, which make it harder for us to jump over uh, out of the way of his buzzsaw blades. <laughs> we can just elasto blast to knock him off of us, though. You ain't as easy as I thought. But if this is the way you want it, I got a little surprise for you, my friend. My secret weapon. <laughs> Time to say farewell, my friend. In a few seconds, you're gonna be burnt worse than your mama's margarita. So this is Dragon Clavion. He'll breathe fire at us and run around the room. We can just elast a blast into his face, and he loses more HP. He's really not that hard. Although the less HP he has, the more fire he breathes. And also eventually he charges up his fire attacks while moving! Oi, that's not fair! That's not fair! McAfee was uh, putting up a window and making it my controls lock up. 
Thank goodness I'm not playing a high-stress DS game, am I right? Alright, he has one or two HP left. So now he breathes fire from all across the room. We want to jump hover over that. And he's got done. Goodbye. I love his sound effects, though. They're great. You got a lot of smarts for a slime. Look, John Claude Lonely. I found a funny shaped flute. Get your mitts off of that, lady! It ain't food! I just want to have a quick go. Daddy says I'm very good at the flute. No! We're... we're all toast now. What a funny noise it makes. I've never heard a flute quite like it before. That's what we've been digging for all this time. That's Flucifer's flute. That pipe keeps the dark one sealed away. If you blow it, you let him out, you dope! Holy Qualion! Yeek! Mommy! I'm scared! I am the Dark One. I am Flucifer. You will be my slave, Qualion. So it's been the Dark One with the real power all along. I don't know what his game is possessing Qualion like this. But now it's come to this, we've got big problems. You can for- oh, no! You can forget about Slomenia now the Dark Ones come back to life. It'll be wiped out, along with the rest of the world. I guess this means we'll have to put our rivalry on hold. You're gonna need my help with this. I don't like it, but we'd better join forces. Come on, Flute Warrior. Things just got serious. I love how it's Flucifer, not Lucifer. What? ha 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 It does not matter how many of you pathetic worms attack! I am invincible! And that's his tank! And it's... really powerful! He just destroyed both of our tanks in one go. Whoa! The Schleiman and Schwarzman are both out of action? What are we gonna do now? Please come back in one piece, Rocket! This is jolly bad luck! Mount Krakatrode is a volcano! Anything falling in there will be... Bubble, 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 bubble. Crackpot? What are you doing here? Would you like to do a spot of alchemy? Alchemy? That's no use to us now! But alchemy is the key to defeating Lucifer. What? We can defeat the Flying Psycho with alchemy? Well, I haven't got any better ideas. Go for it! Good, 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 good. I'll get cracking straight away then. Hey! Nothing's happening! The Great Crackpot's finally cracked! The entire mountain is a giant crack pot. It's amazing. Wha- wha- what's that? What's happening to Mount Krakatroda? Ta-da! Alchemy complete. I really am rather splendid, aren't I? Huh? Y you didn't just make that, did you? Woohoo! Our tanks have fused into a mega tank! <laughs> and mega tank flies! Oh, this is amazing. So, this is the real final battle! Humph. So, this is the power of the so called god of Mount Krakatroda. With this winged tank, at least, we're gonna be on a level playing field with that Flucifer. Hmm. Time to put this wraith to rest, Flute Warrior. Let's go! Battle stations! Fire at will! Behold, I am the embodiment of destruction. So we are now in this special fuse tank, which is called Gott Schliemann. 
It's the Schwarzman and the Schliemann tank mixed into get one. We're going up against Fusifer's Demon tank, which is by far the toughest tank in the entire game. And the only tank battle that's any difficult at all, because he has a lot of HP and his cannon auto-fires. So he doesn't even need to be in his tank to fire stuff at us. He has the best ammo and a special attack. And his tank is massive and tough to take down once you even reach his HP down to zero. And on top of that all, if your H tank's HP reaches down to zero, he can destroy your engine very easily. But we get the epic tank music uh, for the entire tank battle, so that's nice. And I like how our tank, its interior is made of solid gold. We also are cannot dis uh, we can't implement the go into his tanks and distract him strategy. Because again, his cannon auto fires. It doesn't do anything. Sorry, Swivel. We do have Swivel as a partner, and he's really good, though. We also we can walk on the clouds, which is nice. I'm gonna just do that to make him get struck by lightning. Those giant red fiends he's shooting are drills. They only take one hit to bring down, but if they hit our tank, it deals a lot of damage and box our cannons for a bit of time. No Kafrizzle today, please. This is seriously the only tough fight in the game. Oh, but it's such a good fight. Like, I actually lost on this many times when I was my, uh, playing this for my first time. Oh, we, ref we reflected his drill back at him with a mirror shield. So yeah, it dealt 40, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 damage. It's amazing. My Kaboom might? No! Swivel must be in our tank like, wow, you have sucky ammo, Fruit Warrior. <laughs> Alright, fine, you can take the Lightning Rod. But I hope you know what you're doing with it. No! Oh, the Destructo Ball almost hit his tank! Uh-oh. Yep, that's the drill locking up our cannons. And that is right now what he's charging is his special laser attack. While that is charging, he will not shoot any other ammo. However, if it gets fully charged, it basically instantly reduces your tank's HP to zero. You can stop the attack by hitting it with a ton of ammo, but you need to hit it with a lot of ammo. No! You Swivel, you idiot! Why? Yes! So the worms struggle on. That was just enough to get rid of him. <laughs> that was just barely enough to stop it in time. Because if that laser fires, it destroys all the ammo out of the sky, and... Like, it literally will instantly lower your tank's HP to zero. It damages that much. You know, Silvo, you're not as helpful as I thought you were. Oh, isn't that ironic? He has 666 HP. That is super ironic. Uh, it almost feels wrong to lower it more. Come on, Kaboomite. Yes, Kaboomite! Look at that! That didn't deal as much damage as I thought. Either it was... 
Ignorant worms, do you never tire of resisting? Maybe it just didn't. Sorry, Swivel! <laughs> it's like in the R4 episodes where Mr. Haney was getting abused all the time. Sorry, sir! He's literally just hanging out in his tank doing nothing right now, by the way. <laughs> the one nice thing, though, is if your HP ever lowers to zero, he will stop shooting stuff out of his cannon. Or his cannon stops auto-firing. It will still, however, do the charge up laser attack. I like mirror shields. They're nice, even though they shatter incredibly easily. Okay, his HP is down low. Here's the thing, if, if our HP falls down to zero first, we have to basically devote- Well, that's bad. We basically have to devote all of our time to keeping him out of our tank and killing him before he can reach our engine room. Because if he reaches our engine room... Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Our Kubu might blow up right next to our tank, so we're the ones taking all the damage. Oh, I think we're screwed. Level. You always get in the way. Go tumble to the depths of darkness. Yeah, did you see how much damage that did? Pity, pity the lowly worms. How can you lose with Got Schleeman? So you can see on that mini map, he is teleporting in real fast. You've met your match here, Flucifer. So he has a bunch of invincibility frames, so you can't even just rapid fire blast him. That move he does right there, that, if he does it in your engine room, will instantly destroy all of your barriers and your engine, and there's nothing you can do about it. He has a bunch of HP, so basically, keep him out of your engine room. Disgusting filth! How dare you! Hey, Flute Warrior, I'm gonna finish him off. So Swivel actually will come to our rescue now. Defeating my servant changes nothing. Swivel will actually come with us to help destroy his engine. And holy cow is his tank enormous. So up here we have his cannons which are there. Conveyor belts which actually deliver nothing. I can resurrect him as often as I wish. Brazen fools, that's far enough. Ha! You're gonna have to fight me now, Flucifer. So you can feel pain, huh, creep? He's not immortal. We can beat this low life. But we don't have to. We can just keep destroying his barriers, and I have so much HP, there's no way he's gonna get rid of it all. He has some impressive attacks, though, I must admit. He looks really cool. Quickly, Clawleone! Vanquish them! His tank looks so awesome, but at the same time, he's literally Satan. So, I can't admire him. Sorry, Slivel. You keep getting in the way. There's his engine. <laughs> now, that was a close battle. But we beat him. Fools! How dare you! You are puny slimes, and I... I am the great Lucifer! Ah! 
Satan never wins. So thanks to the brave efforts of Slivel and Rocket, the Dark One, Fusifer, was laid to rest. The mighty Gottschleman again became the two tanks from which it had been formed. And Rocket and his companions were reunited. Hey, Rocket! You didn't get hurt? That's good. Hey, what happened to Slivel? Look! The Schleeman tank's back to normal again now! That was a bit too easy. I don't think that's the last we'll be seeing of the Dark One. Isn't that the plot boss? Where am I? What's going on? Hey, Don, what did you want the warrior flute for anyway? Thought you could use it for some evil scheme or something? The flute's the key to my master plan! Holy smoke! Is that the time already? Save the John for later! I'm busy! Today's special guest is the Platypunk super idol, Miss Chickadee Boo! Ah, my little Chickadee Boo! The most beautiful dame in the world! So, Miss Chickadee Boo, we hear you've been hankering after a warrior flute. Well, I was, because I always keep up with fashion in that. But the latest thing now is... Dual Magus underpants! Everyone's wearing them. I just wish someone would give me a pair. So, he just wanted a warrior flute to give to that lady as a present? And now she wants something else! Dual Magus underpants! I gotta find some Dual Magus underpants! <laughs> the crazy old man's at it again! Oh well, at least it'll stop him bothering us for a while. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ravenous! I shall retire to the palace for Dindins now! I'm hungry too! Let's go home, Rocket! Everyone's waiting for us! Is it just a thing that female slimes are really hungry or something? And so Don Clavion's evil plot was foiled. And Rocket, having saved his country, became the hero of Slomenia. Last two slimes! And we get Oracle Slime as a prize. Nice! Yeah, I didn't get any items or monsters. But I got two of these! BS2 Blue Streak! And BS2 Blue Streak. Nice! <laughs> I love how the plobs didn't actually have it. They weren't actually evil at all. It was literally just like, Oh yeah, this girl who I like really wants the warrior flute, so I decided to just do it. <laughs> Brav, wait a minute! Thanks to you, all the slum inhabitants of Boinberg are safely home now. Go and say hello to everyone. They're all dying to talk to you. Yeah, everyone wants to thank you. You're the hero of Slomenia now. And once you've talked to everyone, his royal wobbliness wants to see you too. Okay. You mustn't go sneaking into the palace with my little hooli rocket. There are much more fun things for you boys to be doing. You're just the same young lad you always were to me, Rocket. You'll always be Mama's little pride and joy. Get up to all the mischief you can while you're beyond. You won't get the chance later. Eh? You've grown into a sterling young slime, my boy. I have nothing more to teach you. Believe in yourself, son, and do whatever you feels right in your heart. Okay, I think none of them are saying anything different, so... You're a chip off the old rock, eh, Squishy? It makes me all, all emotional and... No! Don't lose it now, Stony. Pull yourself together, you old softy. Oh. I don't want to keep talking to you. He's not going to talk about the iron ball he moved. I think everyone else is in the palace that I have to talk to. One is most grateful to one's brave young subject for saving the country from ruin. Thank you. Oh, everyone needs to talk to... Good day! Did you know that crystal walls are even harder than Oracolcum? I'm sure I read that somewhere. Now what I reckon, Rocket? I reckon the Persecuted be a bonza place for a Barbie! I wish I could go on it. Tee hee hee hee! My hero! Do an Elasto Blast on me, Rocket! Okay. 
Tee hee hee hee, Tickles got an Elastoblast! Ooh, that Tickles, yay! Okay, well, let's stop that. You've, you're worthy of me now, Rocket. You may marry me. Um... You know, maybe. I don't think Rocket has a, can a canon girlfriend, so yeah, that's fine. Have you finished everything, Rocket? Yes. You rescued my wife and daughter, and you saved my country, Rocket. Slovenia thanks you from the bottom of its heart. Thanks to you, Rocket, I can finally enjoy some decent food. You're a fine hero, lad. Keep up the good work. We're right behind you, Rocket! We're- you're not leaving us out! Well, Rocket, that's that, as they say! All's well that ends well, eh? Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, the Goo Crew. <laughs> Executive Producer, Yuji Hori. Thank you, Yuji Hori, for making this awesome game. Super fun game! If, if you think this look, game looks interesting, it is way more fun than it looks, believe me. So much fun! I've played this several times, and it just, it never loses its fun factor. And of course, we are not done with the game. Nope, not by a long shot. There's still actually quite a bit to do. I want to get at least one of every item. I want to get all of the HP upgrades. I want to get every single person fighting in the tank that you can. And there are a couple of other challenges along the way that we have to do as well. Several bonus tank battles. Specifically, Tank Masters mode. Which, like, we've talked about a little bit, but we never actually did, and that's actually a fairly lengthy campaign. So, quite a few tank battles still remain, and it's gonna be a fun time all around. <laughs> deslimers, oh, goo graphic deslimers. Oh my gosh. These puns, though, the Goosick team. <laughs> I I love the humor of this game, all of the puns, just the craziness of the game. It's so good. Kind of reminds me of Katamari in that regard. Also, this game is the second game in the series for Rocket Slime. There was one in Japan that was never in America where it's literally basically just the overworld stuff, no tank battles, which doesn't sound that exciting, but they made a sequel to this where it's like boat battles. Then they never ported it to America! Square Enix, please, let me give you my money <laughs> when you bring this over to America. It looked so good. Where it's like, the plob leader is like an evil pirate captain, and like, you've got like giant battleships that you shoot stuff, like, ammo out of. It looked so fun! <laughs> the slime's oozing quality. <laughs> Yeah, but if this game interests you, I strongly recommend you pick up a copy of it. You'll definitely be able to find it online, even if it is a bit pricey. Also, try to get your friends into the multi-card multiplayer, because that's really fun, where it's like you each have a tank that you can put ammo in ahead of time, you can assign crew members, and you fight each other in a tank battle. It's amazing. I would love to do an episode of the Let's Play devoted to that, but there's no way I can because I can't record this unless I'm emulating it. And it doesn't- a multi-card multiplayer does not work on emulators. <laughs> I really do love these, this uh, credit sequence where you see a bunch of the tanks you encountered in the game. I hope I didn't overhype the game for anybody, though, because it's entirely possible that that could have happened. Like, it's not going to be one of the best games of all time, but it's incredibly fun, and it's very underrated because very few people talk about this game. But I strongly recommend it. I'm trying to figure out how many bonus episodes there are going to be. There can be one episode devoted to grinding on items and the monsters. One for doing oh, most of the bonus stuff. And then we could do another one, or another several, on Tank Masters mode. I think that'll be the best way to go. So I think that first bonus episode will be me, uh, the final slime 
ton ball over the well was removed, I'm going to do the well challenge. I'm also going to go and fight the final boss again. Sounds weird, but you, if you fight the final boss again, you get more stuff. You get more. You get two recipes for doing that. Oh, Slivel. Thank you for your help. You were a cool character, and I'm sorry that you don't get to live in Slimenia. That's all, slimes! <laughs> And it saved our game. Now we can go explore. Now if we talk to Big Daddy. My back's giving me terrible trouble. I can't put it under any kind of strain. I've heard tell that special medicine can work a treat on back problems. I've never seen any special medicine growing in the wild. There must be another way to get hold of it. Yeah, so if we can actually create special medicine by using alchemy... We can get a special prize from that. Ba-bam! We moved the 100 slime to an iron ball. Now you can plop down the hero's well. They were talking about throwing a stone down to see how deep it is. ha <laughs> ha Well, anyways, that's gonna do it for the main Let's Play of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. But, as you know, I hope that you tune in for all of the bonus episodes, because there's gonna be quite a few of them. And the game is not going to slow down at all. In fact, it might even pick up a bit <laughs> in the bonus episodes. I really just hope you join in for those and see what they're all about. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.